Hi guys, this is Chanel from My Thrifty Closet. I thought I'd show you my favorite products for low porosity hair, low porosity natural hair. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> Y'all, what is that voice? Honestly, that video was taken like eight years ago on my iPhone 3GS, but that video did inspire this one. I wanted to do a video revisiting my faves, but I also wanted to do an affordable wash day, so I got to thinking. I said, self, combine them. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do today. We're gonna to revisit all my faves from back in like 2012 when I was a broke college student and I have no coins. And we're gonna see if they still work. Truth be told, I've become quite the bougie natural. If it ain't $20 or more, I don't want it. I'm just kidding, y'all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you thought this was a mink coat, it's not. It's a fur throw. And if you thought this was Dolce & Gabbana, you tried it. I got this in a PR package. I'm so broke. All right, y'all, let's get this wash day started. I have already co-washed my hair in the shower. We can run the footage. As always, I went in with my Eden Body Works. What is this thing called? The Eden Body Works Natural Cleansing Co-wash. I have been using this since back, way back in the day, since like 2014 or so. I rediscovered it recently and I love it. It just glides through my hair. It detangles my hair like a dream, but most importantly, it does cleanse my hair while also leaving it soft. It's really just an amazing co-wash that I highly recommend. It's, it's as cheap as $7 or so. It is super, super affordable. It's great, you can really get it for less when Sally's has their 50% off sale, you can get it then and it's really worth it if you haven't tried it. I recommend picking it up. Not only is it affordable, it's super, super, super duper effective. After my co-wash, I threw on my t-shirt towel. I did not have this back in the day, but I wish. It's like four or five dollars. I will link it down below, like everything else in this video. So my hair still feels great. That co-wash is so softening. I do wanna show you, like always, what my hair looks like at the start of this wash day. I've been air drying for like an hour, but my hair still feels soft. It still feels good. Like honestly, it still feels good. It still has movement. It's not stiff or anything. So tops, big ups to this co-wash staple once again. Now we're gonna go into something that I literally have not used since like 2014. I'm going to review one of my favorite deep conditioners and it is a Dominican deep conditioner. Actually, it is Glace Bello. <laughs> Glace Bello. Um, this deep conditioner is awesome. I hope I still like it. <laughs> um, I The reason I stopped using it is because one, I'm a product junkie and I got product junkie ways. So I ended up moving on to a lot of different products, but also this product does have silicone, but it is a water soluble silicone. It's PEG 12 dimethicone. But I know most people don't care about ingredients, so I'm just gonna move on. My hair is separated into four sections. I got this in the eight ounce, but usually you can get the 16 ounce for like $6. It's super, super, super cheap. Again, everything will be linked down below. Smells just, <coughs> <coughs> Smells just like how I remember it. A very strong floral scent. Hold on. It's inciting my asthma, and I don't got asthma. You can tell like I'm just getting older because things that never used to bother me, it's like, wow, it's super, it's super perfumey, super perfumey, but, oh. Crescent fellow, hello to you too, honey boo boo. This is what it's looking like. Oh, 
Yo, I knew what I was, I didn't know what I was doing back in the day, but I kind of knew what I was doing back in the day because it feels great. Wow. A little bit more root. Amazing slip. Like, even though, like, see the consistency. It's very thick, but it has... It has slip. Oh, Ivil's meal. Me encanta. Me encanta. Y'all, this may make me go back to them silicones. I honestly, it's too soon to tell. You won't know until you rinse it out. But right now, I love it. But a commercial DC that has my curls popping is unheard of so I'm gonna go under my steamer I know this is an affordable wash day but even broke people deserve nice things and if you can afford the upfront cost of a steamer which is about $70 I recommend saving up $10 a month for seven months and investing in a steamer a steamer changed the game for me it changed the game from my low porosity dry hair. All right, y'all, it has been 30 minutes since I rinsed out my deep conditioner. Okay, y'all. It feels amazing, it honestly, feels amazing pause this video right now and go get you some click the link in the description box and get you some y'all know i don't product push if i don't like something <sighs> so now it's time for styling and i'm gonna go in with a product that i haven't used since a mm, 2012 another great product you can find a target maybe at your health food store is the G giovanni direct leave-in it is a staple holy grail product for me i love this conditioner yes it usually comes in this because i know y'all about to check me like girl you lying it came to me busted in the mail so i transferred it to an empty bottle so this is the giovanni direct leave-in I'll be going in with this as my leave-in. Apparently, I used to love it. I don't know how much because I haven't used it in almost a decade, but we're going to see. I'm going to go in with an oil on top, and then on top of that, I'm going in with, boom, Eco Styler Gel, the holy grail for naturals, but this is a really good gel for slicking your edges, for washing go styles, for everything. This is a great product for twist out. It gives you a banging twist out. I don't use Eco that much anymore, but apparently I used to love it, especially the olive oil one, but I wasn't going to go out and buy it because I already have Eco in my house, and I'm just going to use up my stash. So I'm going to go in with the Cannabis Sativa. It's my first time trying this one, but I'm no stranger to Eco. We were doing so well. We were doing so well. Um, I finished applying the leave-in. I used almost two-thirds of it. I only have this much left, so I don't like it. Um, I don't know if the formula has changed over the years, 
but it doesn't soften my hair and smooth my hair like it used to. It kind of looks a little bit like my a, a thinner version of my Camille Rose coconut water leave-in, so I was excited. But upon application, um, I don't like it because it's actually much more similar to a leave-in that used to be a staple that I don't like anymore, which is the Kinky Curly Not Today. This is a eh for me unfortunately. Nevertheless, we're gonna plow on. Now we're gonna go in with the Eco Styler. Oh, this smells like bush. <laughs> if you, if you know, you know. Yeah, it smells like bush. Not the biggest fan of this scent. So I'm gonna take, oh, this got sparkles in it. It has like little flexes in it. We're gonna take this much gel. It's a lot, looks like a lot because it is but I need the definition. Is it flaking up? It's not flaking up, so that's good. I don't got time for flakes. I need a little bit more. I don't think it's really doing anything right now. I do not like this leave that it's making. It feels so rough. Jesus be. Okay, this is what it's looking like right now. Um, I don't love it, but I'm not going to apply anymore because that's just going to be a flaky mess. Okay, y'all, these are the end results. This is what my hair is looking like. And like I thought, <laughs> my hair is dry. Parched. Let's go over all the products. We'll give it a final wrap up. So for the Eden Body Works Natural Cleansing Co-Wash, duh. It's amazing. It is a staple now. We'll continue to use this. I have one more use left, and I will go out and buy it again. Um, next up is the Crescent Pillow. This is so good. I, the fact that I stopped using this was crazy. I love this too. My wash day was amazing, hands down. When it comes to the Giovanni Direct Leave-In, this is a no. I used to really love this, but not only did I use like half of it or two thirds of it, my hair is so dry. I don't know if y'all can tell, but like my hair doesn't even have movement. Like you see that? My hair doesn't normally do that. My hair usually will fall right back down. That's how dry my hair is. So right after this video, I'm going to moisturize my hair. Mm -mm. Last product is the Eco Styler. I actually use a lot of this. I use like a third of the jar and my hair is not flaky. Like usually my hair, if had I used so much gel, my hair would have been super duper flaky. But this isn't. Wet line who? Wet line why? Besides the smell, I don't like the smell of this. This herbally scent. So I am going to... Uh, throw in some of my essential oil to kind of mask the scent of it, but I actually really like this I'm going to try this again with a more moisturizing leave-in because before I stretched my hair and again my hair was so dry I had so much definition like it was deep Definition I actually really really like this um, I kind of was, was going to swear off of gels because all the gels were like making my hair flake but this did not make my hair flake. So I can't wait to use this again. If you try this, let me know what you think. 
Um, definitely willing to try it again and will try it again for a twist out, especially because it's getting, it's not getting hot outside, it is hot outside. But yeah, y'all, this is my review of all of these products. I would say three out of four products were great. Two out of four products were completely amazing. So if you are interested in trying affordable products, I would definitely recommend these. If y'all do want to see more affordable wash days like this one, definitely give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes. And I'll talk to y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see y'all later. Peace. Bye, y'all.